Hey, it's some old guy coding again today, and we're going to try something different. If you saw my last video where we were cutting uh, the three millimeter plywood, making a little uh, uh, ma uh, refrigerator magnet um, thingies, uh, we we're cutting through that three millimeter plywood with a three watt laser, and I wanted to see what would happen if we tune, tried to tune in the step size, the Z step. Um, so on here, I've got. Uh, uh, a pattern of circles with different uh, 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 names on them so that we can identify them afterwards if necessary and we're going to apply different laser speeds to uh, laser step depths to them all the speeds are going to be the same at 10 millimeters per second and we'll leave that alone but we'll try a 0 0.02 uh, millimeter step that's the smallest I could get ESTL cam to go and we'll step up from there and I'm just going to do for one row uh, at first here across if we need to uh, if we find something interesting then we have the second and third rows to do further adjustments let's make sure that this one is set to the 0 0.02 depth this one is set to the 0 0.05 this one's set to the 0 0.1 and the 0 0.2 so let's go ahead and generate this job great so let's take a look at this we'll flip her over here a little bit and we can see that that uh, first one is the densest uh, uh, Z steps and the most number of Z steps and uh, fewer and fewer and uh, lastly fewer on this one. So we'll see where we can get with this. Um, I have suspicions that, uh, you know, that's probably not going to be enough and probably not that one either. But maybe we'll uh, find something interesting. So let's give it a try. All right, sorry about the dryer in the background having uh, difficulties here, but we're going to go ahead and cut this piece. I've got this uh, three millimeter board uh, set off from the, the table here with a couple of different couple of boards here. Hoping that uh, once we cut through, that part will fall off and we'll watch for that. I've got a little clock running down here. Well, it's probably not the correct time, but it'll give us an idea. Let's see if we can get the glare off of that guy. There we go. And uh, we'll also uh, measure the time on the camera. So let's go ahead and get started here. Let her rip. And let the races begin. And they're off. And we have a winner. Boy, I'm really surprised how fast that went through. Let's see how the others turn out. interesting results. While you were away at the races, I went ahead and ran that again with uh, similar results. The, the order was the same. Uh, the timings were just a little bit different. Um, I also wanted to mention that um, this job here, the last one, the, the one with the deepest cut of 0 0.2 millimeters per pass, uh, was the closest one to uh, finishing. So, I mean, when, when this one fell out, it, it did a couple more passes and then the job was finished. The worst one was this one, of course, and this is the one that I've been doing all along with the very smallest Z step. So this went on to cut probably another 10, 15 minutes, even though the, the part had fallen off. I'd never taken a look at it and studied that it took uh, that little time. And of course, remember that uh, the times that I'm getting uh, on these uh, will vary uh, for you depending on the power of your laser, the type of material you're cutting, and of course the focus and all that good stuff. So, so it's interesting stuff. Uh, with our new phone knowledge, I wonder if we could cut something a little thicker. We'll take a look at that next time. Thanks for watching. 
And of course, if you're enjoying this content or finding it useful or at least entertaining, uh, certainly consider uh, donating a uh, dollar a month or so or whatever you can to uh, the Patreon uh, campaign. And uh, the link is in the description below. And help out this channel. Uh, it doesn't take much. I appreciate every dollar. Thank you very much. See you next time.